Hi everyone and welcome to this new video series of ECG Learning. This is Hisham Ibrahim, I'm one of the emergency medicine consultants in United Kingdom and in this video series we're going to try to cover in short videos some ECG tips. In each video there will be a quick tip that hopefully will help you to get a better understanding of the ECG and, uh, and hopefully will make you better interpreting them. So this will be our first tip uh, in this series and it's going to be about identifying the ST elevation. So a really important topic to cover. So I guess the question that you should ask yourself when you see a conflict like this is, is there an ST elevation here? What do you guys think about this? Looking at this particular complex. When we say ST elevation, what I mean is, uh, do you think that the J point is above the baseline, at the baseline, or below the baseline. And the J point is this point. So the junction between the end of the complex and the beginning of the ST segment. And if this point is above the baseline, this is an ST elevation. If this point is at the baseline, this is isoelectric. And if it is below the baseline, this is an ST depression. So what do you guys think? ST elevation, isoelectric, or ST depression? I guess it's all about where the baseline is. So let's talk about the baseline and let's identify it. This is a very common mistake that I personally used to do. Uh, and, um, and when I learned about this mistake, um, this actually changed my whole way of looking at ECGs for life. The baseline, I used to use the PR segment as my baseline. So what I used to do is I used to compare the J point to the PR segment. And then I would say there is an ST depression here because this point is below that line. And this is wrong because I learned that actually the PR segment is a dynamic segment. It can go up and it can go down. And it doesn't make any sense to compare two dynamic points to each other. If you say this is actually an ST depression, I would argue why not PR elevation? So the only area in the ECG that's got no electrical activity at all is the area in between two complexes. So after the T and before the next P. So your baseline should be the TP segment. So your baseline should be this area here and this area here. So this is your baseline. If you apply this to the complex that we've just seen, then we will find out that actually this is your baseline and you've got an ST depression and a PR depression. If you use the PR segment as your baseline, actually you will um, call this an ST elevation by mistake. And this is a big call that you don't want to do. So in summary, We've learned today that the ST elevation is measured at the J point compared to the baseline. And the most important piece of information to be aware of is that the baseline is the TP segment. It is not the PR segment at all. And this is it for our first tip. So thank you very much for your time and uh, stay safe. I'll be talking to you very soon. Bye for now.